All right, I get that WayForward like to add Mighty to the titles of their DSiWare releases. And I get that WayForward makes some pretty awesome games, including the Shantae series and Contra 4. So, in the spirit of Mighty Flip Champs, Mighty Milky Way, Mighty Bomb Jack, the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mighty Final Fight, Birdie the Mighty, and Mighty the Armadillo, here's Mighty Switch Force, a game all about toggling reality, awesome platforming, and a bunch of hottie convicts in short shorts washing a car for whatever reason. Knuckles Chaotix reference. The first trick to Mighty Switch Force is coming to the realization that, no, this isn't actually the prologue stage of Mega Man X. You guide the ridiculously named Patricia Wagon, I see what they did there, through 16 free-roaming stages armed only with a pistol and a helmet that can toggle the existence of blocks scattered throughout the levels. Hence the Switch in the name. It's your job to hunt down the five escaped felons hiding on high platforms or behind destructible blocks, and then make it to your big old wampin' suit of police armor to make your escape. But it's not all donuts and cream, this rounding up of fugitives. For whatever reason, your progress is impeded by bats, explosive ambulatory skulls, door-controlling heavily armored slug things, and the occasional ill-tempered bulletproof shield face mabob. Yes, that's a technical term. Fortunately, when your gun can't take care of the mob, your toggle powers can. Catch an enemy where a block is expected to appear and crash. Right through the front of the screen. Man, I just bought this 3DS too. But watch your own neck as you do so. Catch so much as one of your own pixels in a toggling space and you suffer the same fate. Note that this does not apply to directional launching blocks, which you can enter to be filed all DK barrel style in the indicated direction. Also adding to the puzzle-like aspect are two different colors of lockable blocks whose polarities can be altered by resting on top of them. Add to these some special blocks that only allow projectiles to pass through, cracked blocks that can be eliminated by one of those aforementioned ambulatory skull bombs, and whip them into a massive froth of timing, platforming, and more timing. Speaking of, each stage presents a par time to serve as a goal, and it's a lofty expectation if I do say so myself. But these 16 stages will go by fairly quickly, and the idea of practicing, learning, and improving your times will look more and more appealing as time goes on. The presentation of Mighty Switch Force is adorable, if a little confusing. The graphical style evokes classic 16-bit platformers like the aforementioned Mega Man X with impressive attention to detail. Though without some sort of online help, I have to wonder what's with the little heart power-ups. I get that they restore your health, but they look like cards of some sort, but Patty exclaims yummy whenever she picks one up. I don't know, perhaps in the future we eat cards like that? I've had some Pop-Tarts that tasted only marginally better than oblong plastic slats, and that was probably just the icing doing all that. Which brings us to the icing on this delicious treat. It's only six bucks! Six bucks for an adorable, visually pleasing, pleasant-sounding, platform-tastic little piece of 3DS justification. I think it's totally worth it. And for the record, I always pay my parking tickets. Always. <laughs>